It's maths! It's maths! Let's rub the magic elbow patch and see what fun is coming up today. No more sad maths. It's bad maths time. Pay attention, it's Maths Mansion, the game show where you get to test your maths ability. Feel the tension in Maths Mansion. Let's see how good at learning maths these kids are gonna be. If they want out, then they must earn it. There's no leaving till they learn it. The only way of getting out is mathematically. <laughs> Locked up in Maths Mansion, will these kids ever collect enough maths cards to get out? I've got two so far. Not enough. You need more cards. More cards. If you're ever to escape Maths Mansion. <laughs> and what are they being tested on today? Numbers less than zero, called negative numbers or minus numbers. So, Who's warming up first? My name's Ashley Horn from Reading. Right, Ashley Horn. Do they have negative numbers in Reading? Yeah. I bet they do. Right, here we go. What I want you to do is to count backwards from plus six to minus six in steps of two. Go. Six, four, two, zero. Five. Go negative now. Negative two, negative four, and negative six. Negative numbers. What can we say about them? Well, they're... Well, they're very sad, aren't they? I'm sorry, I can't do this negative business. Can we do positive numbers? Look under zero and you'll find us. The numbers who are minus We're those low-down, whinging whiners The neck, neck, negative necks Yes, we're the anti-heroes The numbers less than zero We are under zero, that is where we go The neck, neck, negative necks We're the rotten eggs In a football match We're the broken legs In the number brew We are the dregs The neck, neck, negative necks Yes, we're the anti-heroes The numbers less than zero We are under zero That is where we go The neck, neck, negative necks Minus one, plus minus nine. We've all got that minus sign. Onwards down, that minus line. We're getting smaller all the time. Getting smaller all the time. Getting smaller all the time. OK, getting thank smaller. you. I'll do my best. OK, stand by. And cue. Well, now, just the other side of zero are the numbers that aren't positive at all. Let's just call them the other numbers. We don't want to hurt their feelings. Oh. <laughs> These three lovely ladies are enjoying a snack. What have you got there, please? Tea. Tea, Paulette. And what does it say? What temperature? Five. Five degrees, positive five. That's pretty cold. Would you mind going to positive five on the number line? That's it. Very nice. Now, let's find out what these other lovely ladies have got. First of all, you. What have you got, Patricia? Mm -hmm. And what temperature does it say? Minus three. Quite cold. Nice. Like it. Would you go to negative three with your minus three slushy? And that leaves you. What's your name, please? Beverly. Beverly. You like chocolate ice cream. Yeah. What temperature is that? Minus five. Minus five. Very cold. Minus five is the same as negative five. 
please. Do the honours and stand on negative five. Oh, just how I like it. Everyone on the number line in their place. Negative five, two steps up, we get to negative three with the slushy lady. And if I walk one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight paces up, I get to the lady with a cold tea. Nice, is it, Patricia? Nice. Very nice. But unfortunately, you are not the coldest. The coldest is down the other end, right down at the bottom of the number line, minus five. Beverly, you are the winner. Yay! Congratulations. <laughs> with negative five, you get the flowers yeah. and the chocolate ice cream. So, who are you? I'm Hannah Edwards from Croydon. Are you ready for the test? Because the test is ready for you. Right, Hannah Edwards from Croydon. Listen very carefully. What's the difference between a human being and a frozen fish finger? Uh, I don't know. Well, I'm not coming round to your house for dinner then. Right, I'll ask you that question later on. But in the meantime, take a look at this. Put these in order. Lowest temperature at the bottom. A human being, a fish finger, which is frozen. The planet Saturn, the North Pole in winter. And boiling water. The clock's ticking. Go. We're going for the planet Saturn as the coldest. Boiling water as the hottest. The frozen fish fingers going in. The Arctic below it. And the human being. OK, they're in the right order. Coldest at the bottom. But now, match the temperatures up with the things on the screen. The clock's ticking. Go! Yes, they're doing it. Saturn minus 180. North Pole minus 40. Frozen fish finger minus 10. Human being 37. Boiling water 100 degrees centigrade. The gong's bonged and they've done it. I shall ask you once more. What's the difference in temperature between a human being and a frozen fish finger? The clock's ticking. Go! 47 degrees centigrade. Because? It's 10 degrees from minus 10 to zero. Add another 37 degrees makes 47. Correct. Yes! You have won yourself another maths card to help you escape maths mansion. Here you are, the negs. Yes. Could you answer that sort of question? Have a go yourself. Which is the bigger difference in temperature between Saturn and the Arctic? Or between a frozen fish finger and boiling water? Try it yourself. And remember... Pay attention, it's Maths Mansion. The game show where you get to test your maths ability. Feel the tension in Maths Mansion. Let's see how good at learning maths these kids are gonna be. If they want out, then they must earn it. There's no leaving till they learn it. The only way of getting out is mathematically. <laughs> now look, any time you're feeling negative, just come and have a little chat. Ha <laughs>